Hey everybody, so I just wanted to pop in here before my week 43 weigh in and chat with you guys for a second. Now I don't have a weekly vlog for you guys, I kind of took a break from vlogging this week which was much needed. I definitely feel ready to get back into vlogging. Um, I put up a blog post on my blog, I will leave the link down below as far as a life update because I kind of got sick this week and struggled a little bit. I kind of wrote a journal uh, blog entry, I will link that down below. I also wanted to share something with you guys that is so exciting and I just like couldn't wait to share with you guys. So I have officially signed up for a 5k and this 5k is the second annual Foster the Future 5K. It's in Encino, California, near Los Angeles area on January 7th, 8.35 in the morning, and I am so excited. Um, so the 5K, it's like a five, you can do 5K or you can do a 10K. It's $35 to register. And the proceeds from the race go to benefit Journey House. Sole purpose is to assist emancipated youth to meet their independent living needs. So it's definitely a worthy cause and all the proceeds go to them, which I think is just amazing. So you're definitely not only running a 5K, but you're also doing it to help other people. And the proceeds are going to help kids who are just learning to get on their feet and aging out of the foster care system, which I just think is an amazing cause. So I'm gonna leave the links down below to the Running Guru page, as well as the link to the Journey House webpage, so you guys can check it out, see what it's all about. And if you are in the Southern California, Los Angeles area, definitely email me because I would love to run with you guys and I would love to do this with you guys. I think that would be so much fun uh, to do it with some of you, be able to meet some of you and interact. And so let me know, email me, DM me on Instagram if you're going to be in the area on January 7th because I would absolutely love to run with some of you guys for this 5k, my first 5k on my 23rd birthday. Like I said, email me below. Uh, and that's it for now. My weigh-in is later today, so you guys will catch up with me later, but I just wanted to bring this exciting, more formal announcement to you guys uh, because I definitely think it deserves like its own or most of its own video because it's pretty exciting. I am nervous about my first 5K. Obviously, I need to come up with a training plan to make sure I am ready and conditioned for running the 5K. I've never run one before, but I am so excited. If you guys have any tips as far as preparing for my first 5K or any training plans or apps or websites or anything, leave a link down below. I hope you guys are doing amazing, and I will see you guys later today for my week 43 weigh-in. All right, so it's like 4.30 right now. I am about to head in to my doctor's appointment to weigh in and go to my weekly uh, class meeting with the dietitian. And I have a good feeling about this week. I either think I'm gonna stay the same or lose, which is a good trend considering the past few weeks I've had of going up and down. So I am about to head in and I will see you guys afterwards. Better music. All right, so that is my way in done, and like I expected, I was down two pounds. I can't even express to you guys how happy I am to be under, oh, there's people walking next to me, how happy I am to be under 219, and out of that yo-yoing between 219 and like 220, 221, I am so happy to be rid of that. Um, anyways, I'm feeling so good, and I'm really happy with this week, despite I was like sick and all that kind of stuff. This week overall is good and it's so nice to see a loss on the scale of two pounds weighed in at 217 for a total loss of 118 pounds so far. Uh, that is it for this week, but I will catch up with you guys next Wednesday for my week 44 weigh-in.